Oh, oh god, I don't think it's starting soon. Oh shit, fuck. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Cars ahead time.
Holy shit, it's holy shit. No way. Um, let's get into oh my hip hop. Cause we're gonna start stream. We're gonna do it. Ugh. Hello? Music isn't starting yet. Why isn't the music starting yet? Hello? Oh. Ducky people out. Thank you, thank you. There's something in my room. Why is it a tiny bus in my room? Ooh. Oh, hi, everyone. How are we all doing today? I've had an- I had an eventful morning- oh? Question mark? Also, um, the Batman, uh, the Batman Minecraft thing is, is up and running now. I went to my brother's IEP meeting to see how he's progressing in school and he's doing epic, just needs to turn things in better. I see. And I saw my old Spanish teacher and caught up with her. Yo. That's good. You were thinking about marriage? <gasps> For four years now? Oh, That's so sweet. So, we'll be coloring this today still because we're not done with it. I did the flowers last night because I did not feel like doing it on stream. And I kind of, I'm kind of okay with how they came out. I like the flowers. Thank you so much. Thank you. layer 3d I kind of do in a sense
drawing time, hell yeah. I was um watching uh Breaking Bad yesterday with Ginger because Ginger really wanted me to watch it. And it's a very interesting show. Today and tomorrow. Why? Why? <laughs> I still haven't watched Breaking Bad myself. It's very eventful. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I think my brother has watched all of it. <laughs> we still haven't done pumpkin carving yet, which I'm really sad about. We should be doing it soon though, according to my grandma. Just, just don't want to get the pumpkins too early, so that way they, so that we don't rot when it's Halloween time. Hi, Yuli. My parents were telling me about today. They're telling me like, "Oh, I was I saw you stream and I was watch I saw like the um the little drawing you're doing." And and they're asking me like, "Oh, who's that?" I was like, "Oh, it's just, a, it's just someone that I know, someone I watch." And they're like, "Oh, I love the coloring. I love the colors. It's so pretty. It's so nice." And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh god, oh god, what am I doing? Whoa, whoa, okay. Jesus. Also, I was watching um, Toa stream earlier today, and he was playing on Rats and Feet, and damn, it just looks really fun. Damn. What if I want to be a little rat? Little creature in the night. A little rat. City. 
<sighs> I'm trying. For some reason, I've been wanting to get back into the stuff I used to. I used to be into. So like earlier today, I tweeted about how I wanted to get back into an old game I used to play. Called it's not really old, but like Bandori. Yes, rhythm game. Yes. Halloween is so soon now. I genuinely can't wait because I want to see the costumes that the kids are putting on. I hope I get to see like so like an Owl House one, maybe. I think that would be cool. Bandori. Uh. There's a little kid dresses up like King. That'd be so adorable. That'd be so cute. Could you imagine? I, oh my god! Imagine you see um, so it like. Oh, imagine you see Illum Illumity costume. Oh my god! I think I'd actually cry on the spot. And then a couple dressing up as Lumina together. Oh my god. Playing Lumina for Halloween. Literally, what's the point? What's the point? I used to, I, that was always my favorite part of Halloween, just like seeing the costumes. I, I always think it's creative to see how people, like, see what people dress up as. What should, if I if, if I do end up carving a pumpkin, what should I carve on it?
He's not how wow. Wow, I'm not wow, I'm so surprised you said that. <laughs> For me, even maybe if I can even do that, <laughs> I don't know where I don't know how to I, how I'd be able to do that. Owl House logo, oh, Christ, you're trying to kill me. Just a little guy, I'll just draw an Among Us. Fuck it. What if I just draw, like, an imposter killing a crewmate? I was gonna say, what if I- what if I drew, um, what if I drew Among Us? Well, like, I- I don't think that's really appropriate for the kids walking by. I watched, um, I rewatched uh, Equestria Girls this morning, and it made me really miss, like, my My Little Pony, my My Little Pony era of my life.
so the Metal Planet is such a buff, like, if Disney do, right, the jams they create in the shows, I'm pretty sure Disney didn't create My Little Pony. They did it? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, yeah, Hasbro. Yeah, Has Hasbro. I thought it was a Disney show. No. No. Y'all remember when, um, when Minecraft had those, like, those, like, custom worlds for texture packs? Like, so there was a little big planet texture pack, and it would give you, like, a custom world for it. It had too many gay undertones to show would have been axed by season 3. Oh my god. I don't remember. I think it was. I think it was mainly on um, uh, consoles. Cause on my Xbox and my PlayStation Three, they would. I wonder if it still has it on my PlayStation Three. Cause my Minecraft's old on play PlayStation Three. But basically, you would have. A, they would make a custom a, a new texture pack uh, for like a game or a show. So, for example, there was um a Little Big Planet one, right? And and if you if you were to want if you wanted to use that for like a trial or something, they would let you play on the custom world made for it, made for the texture pack, and it would it was, it was just really fun. I love I miss Little Big Planet. I remember as a kid that one of that game was like one of my all-time favorites along with um Raymond Legends. Never heard of that. It sounds so cool though. Yeah, it, it was really fun. But then they stopped doing it. It made me really sad. I can probably find it. Hold on. Um, let's see. Minecraft little little big planet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, seven years ago. Holy shit. Hold on, let me pause the music for this one. Oh my god. Um. Really? Yes, seven years ago. That's Chatterino. There you go. Okay. Um. Here. What is up, guys? This is Jimmy. Welcome back to a new video. Let me tell you. Oh God. Video is oh God. Oh my God. Shut up. Yeah. Okay. So see, see, look, look, look. So yeah, yeah. So it would say it would have a create new world, and then it will let you um. There's a new one, Little Big Planet World. And I did see 4J, um, they tweeted ages ago that Little Big Planet was the most chosen thing they wanted to put. Okay. Come 
Yeah, yeah, so you see the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They will have these are the texture packs right here. You see them right here. These are the texture packs, and you can use either one of them. It will create their own. It would uh, create uh, like your own world for them. I loved the Christmas one. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, see. Oh, 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 go back, go back. Trial texture pack. You're using the trial version of the texture pack. You will have access to full content of the texture pack, but you will not be able to save your progress. Yeah, see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trial texture pack. Yep. Start. Let's do this. No way. They've actually rec they've recreated the the. Oh the my god. Oh my gosh. That looks insane. Right. Right. Anvil. Oh, there's Anvil stairs. Oh, it's literally the exact same. Escape to victory. Oh. oh these little worlds that you can choose to go in. Oh my okay. god. Frozen Tundra. Which one did this say? Sensei's Lost Castle. Boomtown. I remember. He goes. And it was just the texture pack. Boomtown. Come on. Ah! Where am I? Oh, I'm falling through cobwebs. Oh. Right. Fun. Oh my god. Oh, it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. No, and even knowing like now that a little big planet is not really a thing anymore. Secondly, it is, but like they're not producing any more games, and it makes me sad. Cause little, cause the concept of little big planet was actually really cool. I thought it was really creative, but then they they don't continue it. My friend has the game still, which is cool. That's cool. I miss the old Minecraft so much. As much as I like the updates that they give to Minecraft, I do miss the old days of Minecraft a lot, especially since I grew up with Minecraft.
Mm. There it's for a little bit. Behave chatters. Oh, Hawaii. Sounds good. Did you guys watch, um, uh, ever watch Stampy? Do we have some Stampy enjoyers in chat? Yes, yes! That's how I first found about Minecraft out. At all, OMG. I loved Stampy's videos a lot. Like, even, like, if it was in his lovely world or not, I would always just watch his videos. Art moment, art moment. Welcome to the stream. It was just something about his videos that just made me really happy. Maybe it was like the the fact that it was like very creative with like the builds and like the way As much as I hate to admit it, they were all edited and it makes me sad. <laughs> it breaks my creativity so it breaks my imagination so much. When I had found out that like um the when when I when I got older and I found out his videos were edited and the, and I couldn't actually build a submarine in Minecraft, that made me so sad. <laughs> You talking about Stampy? Yeah. He didn't actually build- No, no, he did build his stuff. It's just that it doesn't- They don't actually work like they should- Like he showed them in the video. He doesn't- He definitely does build his stuff. I'm saying like- I'm am saying like you can't actually the sub the submarine can't can't actually move in the water or the build the ship can't actually s move either. I got confused. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely did build his stuff though. That that's the the whole part of like them actually moving and working the way they're supposed to. That 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 part is that part is all edited. But I didn't know until I, until I grew up later on. Kirby Glove, yeah. How does that glove look, chat? I used to rewatch the Going to the Moon video so much. I used to rewatch the sub the submarine one and the time traveling one. Where he t which I was back in time. I thought those were really cool.
10 years later video and I almost cried in middle of school. Oh no. The hand looks so pretty, Bree. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Oh god, wait, I forgot something. I hope Sampy knows how much of an impact he's like made on a lot of a lot of children's life. How he's like been able to Like I, I definitely would have not gotten creative like that if I didn't watch his videos. Oh, don't even get me started with Afmo. I think Afmo was like one of the main reasons why- the, One of the main reasons I started making OCs in the first place. I used to fucking love my street. So much. My street and diaries i'll be honest i'll be i'm gonna be very honest here i can never get into diaries i could have never actually gotten into diaries as much as i wanted as much as i really really wanted to my, diary was diaries was definitely my my like introduction to afma but i never really got into it as much as i did my street i think when my street it was more diff it was i liked it more because the characters were actually just mainly voiced by Afmo, at least towards like the middle part of it. Like you, there was there was that there was the, the slower she started introducing more and more people to actually voice act the characters, the more I, the more I just started getting more invested in it. I started watching Diaries at like the very beginning since episode 20 or something season 1 so I just used- I was used to watching new videos she uploaded every day. Yeah. Yeah. I was like- I- I didn't stop watching um, My Street until like I got in- until I think um... 7th grade maybe? I don't know when she start when she introduced when she started introducing like the whole like more and more different series throughout. I, I think that I think that's when I stopped getting invested. But like, I she was like one of the main reasons why I started making OCs in the first place. Because I, I was like, damn, I want to make a story like this. I want to make a story with characters like this.
I started watching OVAs and they're still bringing me the same joy for when I almost watched them, for when I first watched them. I remember I, a couple of months ago, I had watched um a couple, I had rewatched a couple of videos with like some friends. And we were taught, we were thinking to ourselves like, this doesn't really, it, it doesn't really hold up to, to it, does, it doesn't hold up too nicely today, but it still has the same kind of it's still we we still kind of get like the same kind of like enjoyment as if we were like kids again watching this When they had to cancel season 3 of Diaries, I remember just crying on my bed. No. It's just so chill on Saturday. It's not like they're going to make it make if upload today, but it's so nice. Yeah. I feel like I should just rewatch it again, but I, 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 one, I don't think I want to do it on stream, and two, um, I don't really have anyone to rewatch it with. Because I feel like if I rewatch it alone, it wouldn't, it just would not be as fun. And you know, it's like Af rewatching Afma is like one of those things where it's like you can't really, you can't really do it alone now. Like you have, you gotta have, you gotta have people to watch with. What you, why don't you want to do it on stream? I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of don't. <laughs> People say I don't understand what I'm sorry. What the fuck? Uh, probably don't ask a question like that.
Would you ride a McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. <laughs> I've only had McDonald's French fries before, really? You still drawing the picture? Yeah, because I'm not done with it. So we 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 draw on it. Free cookie! Whoa, well, well. <laughs> That is amazing. Wow, I'm glad you like it. Poggy's cookie. <laughs> I saw the flower crown your way and I was like, oh my god, I have to draw that. It's her son she's drawing. I I go by I go by she they pronouns. Thank you. I got a universal, they had them in different colors. What? Oh I need to go. I need a flower crown. I it it's kind of it's kind of a crime for me, the person that that like holds the brand is like a flower crown to not have a flower. I don't have a flower crown. Oh god. Free, what the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't? I don't have a flower crown. Uh. <laughs> the real free I am. I am no. Who <laughs> is this imposter? No. <laughs> no. You had to. You have to believe. I used to have a flower crown once. You have to believe me. <laughs> imposter. Funny time? Oh my god. Uh, okay, hold on, give me a second. Um, clock. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, there you go. Are you happy? Because <laughs> streamer is home. God, okay. Right. I haven't seen our real streamer in ages. It's been so long. Okay, all right, all right. Love the stream though. It had and the pig. Oh, bye bye. Take care. lovely weather we're having today if it, it's a, it's been it's been really cold which i really like by the way that's a good thing that's a good thing that it's cold thank you hope to see you soon what the fuck that's a that's a voice um but apparently it's supposed to get hot this week and i don't like that it's hot today what the fuck really is it i couldn't tell 
Um, weather. Oh, it is hot today. What? Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, tomorrow too, bruh. It's almost freezing. Apparently it's snowing in some areas too, which is really funny. I find that a bit humorous. As much as as much as I want snow to happen here in California, I don't I also just don't want to deal with like um, what do we call it? Having to shovel up snow, having getting the snow in like your car's engine or some shit. I don't fucking know. I I remember I told my dad one time when I was in, in, still a kid, like a little kid. I told my dad like, oh, I want I want snow to happen here, and he was like, you would not want snow to happen here. And he told me like all the reasons why I wouldn't, and I'm like, damn, now I don't want to. <laughs> We can't drive in the rain, we won't survive snow, okay? Well, okay then! <laughs> California- California isn't built to withstand snow. I know, I know, but I was like a kid. I was a kid when I when I wished that snow happened here. I was a little kid. I didn't know the consequences of wishing that upon this goddamn state. Do you know? Do you remember what happened to Texas when a big snowstorm happened? No, what happened? Wait, let me search this up. Um, Texas big snowstorm. What what happened to Texas? Is Texas all right? Are the, are are the cowboys all right? <laughs> Everything shut down, er everyone gas right now and shit. What? No electricity. Oh my god! Funny part, it was even even that big. No shot. It just takes snow wasn't built for built for snow, so everything got collapsed. Ah, I see.
<sighs> what was a movie that re like really, really traumatized you as a kid? Like you guys? I because off the off the top of my head, I can think of one specific movie that had really like that's really like made me so scared of a lot of shit. But I don't know what it's called. That's the problem. Carrie should carry a doll for me? Really? I think a, mo a movie that really, like, that really... I, I don't know what it's called, though. Um, movie where New York freezes. Yeah. The Day After Tomorrow? I think it was The Day After Tomorrow. The Day After Tomorrow. Yes, it was this one. Okay, God, Jesus. I had watched- I, I had watched this movie, um, I had watched this movie when I was young, right? And... There was- <laughs> do you want me to freeze? No, 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 it happened in the movie, I swear, I swear! But, genuinely, I- genuinely, this movie scared me so fucking much. Oh my god, did I just get another mosquito bite? Hold on. No shots. Oh my fucking god, I did. It's on my arm, too. Where is that creature? What if I just want to live? Stop fucking biting me! Why is my- oh, because the bunny's over. Bunny, no more. There you go. I wish I can actually find where this fucking mosquito is, cause I just got bit again on my arm. I don't know where it is, and it's making me really mad. I want to kill it. Oh, what's the point in life? Okay. I like turning off and on the rendering thing, see how it looks like, because I think it's really cool. Oh, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, okay. Okay. 
It looks like the clouds during the sunset. I just wanna. Um. Oh my god, rap party art? Holy shit. Sorry, I was, I was reading Ames's tweet. That's really funny. Not even me, bro. <laughs> I, sometimes I really don't like being a nostalgic person. If you have to go through the child area, yeah, not even me. <laughs> but I really hate being a nostalgic person sometimes because um, because when I get too nostalgic, I tend to start getting sad because I can't like, cause it it cause it hits me that the fact that I can't relive that point, the point where I get nostalgic about like so let's say like my let's say like my inter elementary years, I get sad because then I won't be able to like actually relive that anymore that feeling i won't get that feeling anymore and it makes me sad I hate coloring. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoa, Jesus. Hello, I know crossing. I should think about all the good things in the past so I can be happy right right now, but it's so hard. It's so hard. You know what's a franchise I can never actually get into? Apart from Harry Potter and like all the other shit I've mentioned. I can never actually get into, um... What should we call it? Hunger Games. The Hunger Games was like one of those things where it's like I, I don't really want to get into it because I don't want to be sad. <laughs> also, it, it also just because like I've already seen so much of it, so I'm like I don't really need. I feel like I don't, I don't really need to watch it. interested in me but I loved watching people play uh, MC Hunger Games it was so fun I remember I used to play Minecraft Hunger Games hi welcome to the stream um I used to play I used to fucking play um Minecraft Hunger Games. I used to play on a on a that bedrock server it was called um what was it called I what was it called hold on Let me let me get on my Minecraft on my phone, so I can see if I can find it there. My house is vibrating and I'm scared. You are most likely going through an earthquake. Ah, lifeboat. I used to play lifeboat a lot, and um, and what you would call it, lifeboat. Lifeboat basically is if you don't know, it's a mine. It's a Bedrock edition of Minecraft server, and I used to play on it a lot. And one of the main games I would play was Minecraft Hunger Games because it was it was hot in that game in that server. So I'd play it, and I don't think I've ever won an actual Minecraft Hunger Games thingy. Oh,
food. Do we want to watch anything? Let's see. Let's see if I can find anything. We could watch a video on Little Big Planet for those who have never really like gone into it. It explains like the magic and what was so great about it. interesting okay creative ah then let's go over here and then do this and a uh, this and a uh, this and then a little bit of a uh, this there you go what the fuck why do you look like that turn off this other music okay. <clears throat> okay creative modes in video games are incredible i mean come on we all know this whether it's making sick beats in mario paint on the snes or <sighs> typing in slash give oh, 4664 to blow up oh, some wait, mountains what? wait 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 whoa whoa game wait wait no ever heard of most people who play video games have had some experience with user driven content practically every pc game now has a modding community and nintendo's just releasing games that are 60 dollar level editors oh, so that people who buy Jesus, it are the ones fine. making the game instead okay. of the developers the ability to design levels to your heart's content and share your creations with the world is a beautiful thing and while creative functions in games have existed for some time what sorry i i had um so some school stuff i thought i had a meeting today like around 10 minutes from now but no i don't we're all good it's okay the growing accessibility of the internet and online sharing in gaming has changed everything about a game's potential. No longer do many games end when you beat the story mode. User-driven content gives way to seemingly endless replayability, allowing players to experience things even the game's developers couldn't think of, mm -hmm. and giving those with insane amounts of imagination and free time the tools they need to share their ideas. Mm -hmm. And there's a game that I feel lies at the center of all this that some people might not know about, or maybe just forgot about over time. I'm talking about Little Big Planet. I mean, it was kind of obvious, because you saw it in the title. The first time I saw a trailer for this game back when it released in 2008, it felt revolutionary oh God. based on its concept alone. The opportunity to own a game with millions of levels was too much for my dumb kid brain to process. While relying on a community to develop the majority of a game's content may have seemed like a gamble, Media Molecule took their time to make sure the tools they developed didn't go to waste. They built an enjoyable story mode to warrant a purchase on its own, and created said story experience as a way to lift the player up on their shoulders and go, hey, you see all this? 
You can make this. Whoa! So Where? being the savant I was, I used the game's limitless potential to attach really big rockets to a piece of sponge and fly around the map. Ah, fuck, I forgot to add control. With its enchanting <laughs> homemade aesthetic and diverse range of music that I can't use in this video because it's all copyrighted, Little Big Planet established itself as something fresh, something different. Each time I took control of that little sack dude, put his hands on that oversized PS3 controller, and browsed the near endless supply of levels with my friends, it was like a whole new game. There were so many creative level designs, platformers and obstacle courses, roller coasters, atmospheric adventures, and shark survival levels. There were a lot of shark survival levels. I mean like a lot, but they were the best shit ever. <laughs> We also played a lot of bomb drop and tsunami survival levels, and with the sheer number of them, I'm wondering if every kid who played Little Big Planet just had an obsession with making levels that tried to kill you. Plus, it wasn't just the levels that you could change to your liking. With the adorably integrated pop it menu, you could customize your. I loved. Outfit, can we customize my little creature? To the hat to the shoes. You could decorate your pod until the PS3's frame rate started chugging. Cover the level in stickers, or just say fuck it and cover yourself in stickers. <laughs> In terms of level design capabilities, Little Big Planet took a very mechanical approach to its options. The basic tools were divided into categories like connectors and switches, and included things like bolts, levers, motors, and buttons. Even compared to the level editors and modding tools of today, this was a lot to work with, and people designed some incredible stuff. And I made a car with a mouth. Oh no, I seem to have forgotten a steering wheel! But this story doesn't just end with one game. After several years of updates and DLC, Media Molecule pulled everyone aside at recess and went, Hey, remember that baby game for babies we made a couple years ago? Yeah, that game fucking sucks. Check this out. <laughs> Planet 2 expanded the creative options of the original game in so many ways without losing the unique feel of its predecessor. Media Molecule even stated in several interviews that they didn't want to damage the content or audience of Little Big Planet, so all of the original game's levels remained playable in the sequel. The story mode was vastly improved and expanded compared to the first game, and again made Little Big Planet 2 worth the purchase. All the stuff they added in this one was Yippee! almost too much for 12 year old me to handle. Grappling hooks and fully controllable vehicles and programmable computers and robots and it was so good <laughs> there is so much charm and personality spilling out of little big planet 2's story mode from the unique worlds to its charming npcs and an original soundtrack with some absolute bangers also sleepyhead by passion pit is on there but i can't play that one in the video because of copyright Okay, moving on. Little Big Planet yeah. 2 is where I feel the community was really able to show its potential. With a dedicated website for sharing levels and the ability to develop entire oh games my God. instead of just platformers, this online world was a sight to behold. If you equated the creative potential of the original Little Big Planet to a stale potato chip under your desk, Little Big Planet 2 is like a 21 course meal at a 5 star restaurant. People spent months making absolutely hilarious and incredible levels. Playable creepy pastas, straight up soccer and mini golf, multiplayer battle mini games, oh my god, simulators, puzzle platformers with entirely player developed mechanics like double jumps and wall jumps, and of course more bomb drop levels, but this time they had power ups. The most played level in all of Little Big Planet 2 drops you off in a lobby playing LMFAO's Sexy and I Know It recorded with what sounds like a microphone smothered by a pillow before inserting you and your friend into janky controllable Mortal Kombat robots. What? I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. <laughs> it's too perfect. There were so many <laughs> incredible features in Little Big Planet 2 that I'm pretty sure my friends and I spent the same amount of time messing around in creative mode as we did playing actual levels. Once young me figured out that you could turn anything into an anti-gravity flying machine, that big banana would never be the same again. And finally, I just want to point out that one of the story worlds is called the Factory of a Better Tomorrow and revolves around needing to work with other robots to reach the goal, not to mention that it contains imagery of red fists, inspirational posters, and the word comrades. <clears throat> Pack it up, boys! We found the communism game! I don't want to completely ignore Little Big Planet 3, but it had a different developer, and I didn't really play it at all, so I have no fond memories of the game. But maybe I should check it out. What the fuck? What the fuck?
What the fuck? Is that a dog eating a body? Oh, Jeff the Killer, Island Jack, Slenderman, and more. Bendy and the Ink Oh, oh no. Oh no. I don't like this one. What the fuck? Alright, so Little Big Planet 1 and 2, what's my point? I use my channel as a place Baldi. to talk about things that I care about, with each video serving as a timepiece of something I enjoyed in the moment or don't want to forget about. So with Little Big Planet being one of my favorite multiplayer games of all time, I think it fits right at home here. Sometimes revisiting nostalgic games from my childhood can make them feel dated or disappointing, but I had a ton of fun experiencing the kids took over the, the third one? I think the third one came out in like... Then. I didn't really... Around 20... 15, 2016, I think. Around that area, I think. So that makes sense. When I was a kid, but I did find one obstacle course that I probably poured hours and hours into after school one day, and playing it gave me an incredibly comforting feeling. Flying through my old creative rooms filled with cars, death machines, and flying bananas while a midi of fireflies by Owl City played in the background took me back to a simpler time. If you have any specific memories of playing Little Big Planet, let me know in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed my video. While Media Molecule has moved on to developing even greater creative tools with the release of Dreams, Little Big Planet will always hold a special place in my heart. Thanks for all the good times, Little Big Planet. I'll be up in the orb of dreamers playing bomb drop shark tsunami levels till I die. And sometimes this dance. Oh, I loaded this intro. Out pops a transcendental dream verse, a remarkable place where the real meets the fantastic. And this vast expanse of imagination has a name. They call it Little Big Planet. Hey there, welcome to- Shut up. <laughs> and then now, we can watch, um, um, wait, go back. Creative no, we can watch probably this one, maybe? The sudden downfall of Little Big Planet, okay. Well, I miss we're watching stuff about Little Big Planet, because I miss this game a lot. Why are you sad? What the fuck? It's about time I talk about Little Big Planet 3. A game that was seen as a big low point of the entire series by a lot of people, including me. Why is this game seen as a disgrace to the Little Big Planet series and its community? Did it not live up to past LBP games content wise? Was the game just not fun? Well, I'll get into that soon enough. I'll give my honest opinion about the game itself, why the community as a whole dislikes it, and my experience with it. But first, what happened after LBP2 came out? What happened before LBP3 was even announced? I've already talked okay. about Little Big Planet 2 in a previous video, so I'll try to keep this part short. LBP2 was my favorite game in the series. I didn't have a PS3 back when it launched in early 2011, but it was a game I would pick up around a year later. I spent about two to three years of my life just playing the game after school for three to four hours almost every single day. I've played a lot of what the community had to offer, both good and bad, fooled around in the create mode with friends, and even met a lot of cool people. But every now and then, LBB2 would get a huge level pack, usually based off of popular IPs like Toy Story or even the Muppets. All of these DLC level packs came with new materials, Yo. music, objects, and stickers, giving players even more stuff to work with to create some neat levels. Some level packs even included major tools and gadgets that expanded the gameplay options already available. These tools included things such as a superhero cape from the DC level pack, the attracto gel from the Muppets level pack, oh, what? and even some crazy gimmicks that required- Oh my god, I forgot about that thing! The, move the, the, the little ball and thing! And that thing, yes! Function. Overall, LBP2 had so much Holy content shit. added to it over time, even on top of all the new tools that were introduced in the base game. 
Even outside of LVP2, you had Ludwig Planet Karting coming out in 2012, along with LVP Vita, which honestly were both really underrated games in my opinion. After another year, things started to get stale in the LVP community, as copied levels have reached its peak. Great levels were being overshadowed by the same old Mortal Kombat and Shark survivals to the point where it was really hard to find those really creative levels. And eventually, the game just got boring for a lot of people. Nothing really crazy happened to Little Big Planet 2 anymore as far as DLC goes, other than a few costume packs and maybe one more big level pack. It was at the point where people were hoping for a brand new Little Big Planet game. And on August 20th, 2013, we got the announcement of a free to play LVP game. And what do we call this magical world of wonderment? We call it the Little Big Planet Hub. Perfect. Yeah, a game called Little Big Planet Hub. There was what? a CGI trailer for it, with the narrator telling us that the game will have new tools, challenges to play against your friends, and even costumes you could buy. It was also announced that it would be free to play on PS3 eventually. Awesome, sounds really cool. Except that it never came out. So we had to wait a whole another year to find out more about our next Little Big Planet game. Little Big Planet 3. On June 10th, 2014, I woke up at around 2 a.m. because of a familiar LBP sound that came from my iPod 4 at the time. It was a notification on a Little Big Planet app I had, ironically named LBP Hub, the same exact name as the cancelled free to play game. But the notification was for something I did not expect. Something I didn't think was actually happening anytime soon. An announcement for a Little Big Planet 3 for both PS4 and PS3. Wow. It was finally time for a new game in the series, and the trailer for this new game was really promising. It showed off so many new additions that I didn't even know I wanted, like the brand new characters for example. There was Ansok, a dog looking character that could wall jump. A character named Swoop who could fly, pick up things while flying, and could glide. And then you had this big looking dude named Toggle, who was able to change between a big and small size with the press of a button. Along with these new characters was the main villain of the game, Newton, who honestly had a pretty cool design as well. But a very surprising addition that was shown off, and an addition that was pretty big, was the expansion from 3 playable layers to 16 playable layers. Anyways, this game looked promising. I was hyped and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it that November. It just looked like a better Little Big Planet 2 for the next generation console, and nothing bad could possibly come out of it. Uh -huh. Well, the game launched on November 18th, 2014, and everything bad that could possibly happen, happened. The game was a broken and buggy mess. People's profiles were being corrupted, and they had to delete their save files. Menu navigating was an awful and slow experience. People weren't able to join online sessions, and overall, most of the community was really upset and just accepted that Little Big Planet 3 was a garbage game and moved on. It and just sounds like Overwatch 2. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait for the bugs to iron out or just move on completely and leave the series altogether. And sadly, the latter option is what a lot of people took. People were really, really upset. Not to mention the PS3 version locked out a ton of people from playing with their PS4 friends because they weren't able to play with each other. Yes, the PS3 and PS4 versions were pretty much the same, but you weren't able to play with your friends if you were on different consoles. So not only was the community divided between two different versions of the same broken game, but there were also people still playing Little Big Planet 2. Whether it was because they got sick of Little Big Planet 3 in the first couple of weeks, or the fact that a lot of their friends just play LBP2 and not LBP3. I know many of my friends I met on LBP2 left the series and never came back. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of my friends at this point don't play Little Big Planet anymore. I myself don't play the games anymore, and let me tell you, I was the one person that wanted to give LBP3 a chance. I got the PS3 version when it launched, and after experiencing game-breaking bugs, I told myself that the PS3 version was the bad version. A month later, I got a PS4 and LBP3 for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I launched the game, beat the first world of story mode, and game-breaking glitch. I was locked in the first world and couldn't progress at all. I had to delete my save file and still to this day, I haven't even touched story mode again. Yes, I did beat it on the PS3 version, so I don't really care, but still, I wanted to beat it on PS4 as well. Playing Little Big Planet online with friends is the reason I love the series. Why don't I just do that instead? Well, like I said, most of my friends stopped playing as soon as LBP3 came out, so that option's off the table. I then tried to dive in and join some random people. And let me tell you, I really tried, but I would constantly get disconnected as soon as I enter a person's pod, constantly getting the oh, error wow. message, the game has diverged. 
There was no way to fix it, and since Little Big Planet was always fun to play with other people, I quickly got bored playing the game by myself. I stopped playing, hoping that in the future these bugs would be patched out and the game would be better. Two whole years later, one of my friends got a PS4 and LBP3. I go back to the game to play some good old Little Big Planet until I realized we still couldn't join each other. It was still <laughs> happening. Two whole years after launch, the game has not been fixed. Oh, what wow. a shame. LBP3, one of my most anticipated games, at least for a little bit, was completely ruined because of a buggy and bad experience. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if those bugs were fixed since 2016, but I don't care. I'm not giving that game another chance. It has been far too long for me to care anymore. It should have been fixed the first week it came out, and the game itself should have had more time to be worked on. So what the hell happened? Well, Sumo Digital, a company that made games such as Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Dead Island, and Crackdown 3, were tasked to handle Little Big Planet 3. The original creators of the series, Media Molecule, had nothing to do with this game at all, and it was put into the hands of people that had nothing to do with the LBP series, other oh. than some PlayStation Vita crossplay DLC. But and because Sony wanted probably. this game to release by holiday season that year, it didn't give Sumo Digital a lot of time to figure out just what they were even doing, and they had no choice but to focus on the deadline. LBP3 was rushed to store shelves that November, bugs and all, just so all the little kitties could have it for Christmas. Having deadlines like that and having a completely different studio handle a sequel to a series they didn't work on before could cause serious development issues. Look at Metroid Prime 4 for the Nintendo Switch. Okay. It was literally just announced that the development of that game will be completely scrapped and will start from scratch because it didn't meet a certain level of quality that Nintendo wanted to see. Oh, wow. It was being worked on by a completely different studio. A studio that wasn't familiar with the Metroid Prime series. Nintendo probably saw that the game had issues. It didn't play right, maybe the story wasn't going in the right direction, and they gave the game back to Retro Studios, the original creators of the Metroid Prime games. That is something Sony should have done. If they wanted to make an LBP3, make sure the original creators had some say in it. Yes, I know Media Molecule is working on Dreams. They've been doing so for years, but I have a feeling that they would have put their new project on the side just for a little bit to make sure Little Big Planet 3 was as good as it could be. Who knows though? Huh. I could be wrong. Maybe Sony didn't ask them to work on it and they just said no. It's possible. But Little Big Planet 3 sounds pretty bad from what I'm saying. I gotta admit, I'm disappointed with the bad experience this game gave me. I'm upset that the game drove most of the community away, but aside from all of Damn. that, the game was pretty alright. <laughs> I know, I was literally just bashing this game seconds ago, but LBP3 could have been great. I personally bought it on launch and experienced the worst of it, but I can't ignore the fact that it added a lot to expand level creation, and there are so many game changing ideas introduced in LBP3. Yeah, like the FNAF about. level. That's crazy. What the f what the hell? While everyone else was making the same big game, we were crafting something uniquely small. Small is imaginative. Small is heroic. Small is extraordinary. Get ready for an adventure so big. It had to be little. Little Big Planet 3. Stand small. Oh. The game itself, if not broken at launch, could have been my favorite LBP game. Yes, even better than Little Big Planet 2. I know people have their opinions on the new characters. They could have been worked into power-ups, or they could have had more to them, but I don't know. Their designs are right, and it's really cool to see new characters in an LBP game besides Sackboy. Oh, forget that... about the characters for a second, because a lot of- I was gonna say, I actually really liked the third game, but I didn't play it when it first launched out. I guess that makes sense, but- I I when I first played the the game, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was sweet and nice and cool. Um yeah. I liked the third game a lot. Yeah, I didn't mind the third game. I thought it was cool. I finished my food by the way. <laughs> It had no bugs when I started playing it. That, that's the thing though, it did have bugs for me when I started playing it. But not as bad as, um... Not 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 as bad as, as like, the first day launch.
Ugh. All right, let's continue drawing now, everyone, shall we? I just saw your R, why are you so good for <laughs> No, we shall not. What the fuck? Looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Kirby gloves? Yeah. Ah. Literally know what is wrong. Holy shit! Thank you so much. Thank you. What was that one song called that was made? I think it was. I think it was made for Afmo. Faster car. What is that? What it's called? It was for my street. I'm pretty sure. It is. It is. I don't think. Okay. It doesn't look like the song was made for Afma. When they went to the resort, it's such a good season. That's such a. It's such a good season, right? He's got a license for it. I see. I see. Look at the super stars. I want to talk about Look at the super stars. I want to drive it from Mars. I think I can work. <laughs> I feel like the resort season is probably like one of the best seasons mainly because of just how mem not only because of how memorable it, it is but also because of because of Zane and Kawhi Chan um <laughs> I hate to admit it I was kind of those two were those two oh my god <laughs> who's your favorite character I I'm, I'm not gonna lie. As a kid, as a kid, okay. 
I, I, I hate to admit this. As a kid, I was a bit of an errand enjoyer, but, but, I started liking um Zayn more. What are we talking about? Aphmau, that's what we're fucking talking about. <laughs> Emmy, Emmy, you are right. <laughs> I'm never all right in the presence of Emma. Oh, God. Okay, enough of that one. <laughs> Emmy, did you also watch Afma as a as a kid, or or do you just not, or do you just hate Afma? I unfortunately did. Oh my god. I just miss MC MC Diaries. I never really got into MC MC. MC I keep on saying MCC. No. I never got into Diaries. No. I was more of a my straight enjoyer. At least at least as a kid. I was like what eleven when I was watching Afmo. My street match. <laughs> For his mysteriousness, I guess, yeah. But then I started liking Zane more because I guess he had more of a personality.
he, he was so fucking edgy. I want to avenge my family type character in Diaries. Yeah, I know. I'm very much aware. <sighs> hmm. Zane was a really good person in Diaries. Not in Diaries. I, I, I like uh, My Street Zane more, definitely. Again, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sit through Diaries, so. What you drawing? I am drawing Gucky. Diary Zane was so fun. I should probably so something tells me I should probably watch Diaries, but like I'm, I feel like I'm too old for that now. But then again, I was also I was also rewatching My Little Pony today. So I guess nothing really should stop me. <laughs> Make you say, stop your hoops, turn around, get to laugh, wonder cold together. I want to watch My Little Pony for- You never watched My Little Pony? No, I never did. Oh, shit. Well, damn. I was only into the older generation. That's honestly very valid. Why are you meowing? You know that Sims Sims 4 is free? No, it isn't. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. No, you're not. It, no, yes, you are. What? What am I saying? What? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, no. What? <laughs> hey guys, so how are we feeling about a sim stream tomorrow? I'm just gonna... How long is it free to play for? This, this has gotta be like a limited time thing now. Forever now, I believe? Holy shit. Holy 
Holy shit. There should be more info, I see, I see. I didn't think it would actually be free, holy shit. Is there like a reason to why it's free? It's gonna be permanently free now? Holy shit! There has to be like a reason to that, right? Dude, I'm actually thinking of rewatching my stream now. No, don't do it! No! Don't do it! <laughs> don't do it! No! Save yourself! No! The thing soon as it's coming out, it doesn't say. Oh shit, I didn't even know they were releasing a new game. Well then. I'll never get over people shrug. Why does it look like that? I didn't, I didn't even know what it was until I hovered hovered over it like a couple of days ago. Nice Arpree, thank you so much. Excuse me? Honest? Excuse me? What are you doing? Corazón! Hi! You guys know that the same people who uh, made Wolf and Sheets clothing set it off 
Um, they're they're collabing with Tatsuna Miku. Did you guys know that? If you didn't, well now you know. Congrats. Really? Yes. City. How does this look chat so far? I want to eat a slash pause. Vibrant. Thank you. Thank you. the cotton candy. Yippee! Blame me for my love for floof here. I'm so sorry. Oh god, what what's going on here? No. No. No, okay. What the fuck? For no particular reason, of course, yes. I believe you. Now, how do I add an effect that- Oh, no. How do I add an effect that, like, changes the number of correction? Is it this one? Ugh! No! Oh, God. That hurt my eyes. Jesus. Um... Color balance? What's going on here? I don't really. 
really need to add effects to this. No, I don't think so. Hi, Rune Rot. I guess I'm suffering in the hour, so I'm here. Welcome, welcome. Embarrass and peak gucky no Thank you. Hope to see you soon. What? Okay. Bye. Hi Mokos. I've watched three squirrels go into the same trash can, camping animals go burr, burr, burr. <clears throat> Jesus. I'll be very, very frank and drawn with you. I don't know what else to add. Hi, Frank and John. Okay.
It does look good as it is. Alright. I will trust your word.
<laughs> so I could try I could try or something. There's always this, there's multiple websites I give I, I can give you the uh, the website I use to make uh gifs out of images. Oh wait. There you go, chatter. I like Mr. Games as a kid. Yes, I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Not even me. Oh God. Star posted it about about their prime, yeah. Yeah, Star po posted it on um on Star's Prime and it was really it was really really funny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watched her friend walk through a doll line. My star waited like a little lost kid. That's so fucking sad. Also, so funny. See you now, yeah. All right, now what, chat? <laughs> Um, it has been two hours and 21 minutes. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if I want to end stream, chat. That's the thing. The Among Us stream, but I have no one to play Among Us with. Solo Among Us Street? No. <laughs> Here, check, check it, check, chat, check it, check it out, check it out. Look. So here, right? You got the you got the the rendered right version, and then boom, Vine boom. Unrendered looks so pretty too. I also, I actually, actually also really like the unrendered rendered version as well.
They're in a comic in a way? <laughs> What is rendering for you? I'm I don't even know at this point. I might be getting <laughs> Cause I thought rendering was like So you got this, right? This is the original thing, and then bam. Is is is, is this considered rendering? Doing doing this? People shrug. Fuck. Yes. I feel like the rendering is different for everyone. I guess it really depends on the person. So if you get into this rendering, then yes. I feel like it's equivalent to putting a shine on uh, already clean uh, shoes or something. Mm. I'm just happy it's fun it's finished now. And I'm really proud I'm really happy with how it came out too. Hi Sue. I don't know what to do now, so I think, chat... It's chill though? I don't know about that. Um... Chat? I think it's time I end stream. No, no... No, no, what, no? I miss it. Oh god. Please, I miss the poop. Lala loop. Lala poopy. I miss Rip. I don't know what to do now. I finished the drawing. <laughs> I just got here. What do I? What do I do? Oh, I don't know what to do. What do I do? 
Is no. small doodle mm. minecraft what would i do on minecraft just exist i'm right here so far what the fuck I guess I will just end stream then my leg is there's a big ass bump on my leg because just because the mosquito bite is so annoying I'll raid, I'll raid this person because I know that they are in rats s &P. React Andy, but what do I react to? Goodbye forever, goodbye. Thank you for streaming like always. Poop, take care. I will. Take care, everyone. I'll, re I'll send you guys over to this person. Because... They are in rats s &P. Take care, everyone. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day or night. I will be streaming tomorrow on the same time. So I hope to see you guys then. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Please be yourself in the chat. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.